Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today we're here for the second installment of the 2021 in review. Yesterday we went over the top Monster Cat songs. Today is the worst projects, I want to say. It's albums and EPs included. Uh, there wasn't, I didn't want to do two separate lists of top worst albums and top worst EPs, so they're just in one. So it's top worst albums and EPs. They're all combined into one sort of thing. So a little caveat before we start, uh, we're doing the top 10 uh, and even though I do say worst, um, this is just my, obviously everyone knows this is personal preference. This is my opinion on stuff. Something that I may have at my number one, you may really enjoy. And that's just how the world kind of works. That's how preferences work. So again, just know this is my opinion. Uh, also, while I do listen to a lot of EDM and my channel is EDM focused, I listen to a lot of music that also isn't EDM. So you may see stuff that isn't EDM on this list. So this isn't exclusively electronic music. It's just general everything I've listened to, everything I've rated in the year. So uh, let's get into it. Number 10 is Getter's Some Creatures EP. And I'm really hit or miss with Getter for the most part. And uh, this EP, I really did not enjoy it. The stuff that I thought was kind of good, I thought was boring. And the stuff I thought was really bad, I like really, really hated. And so I just... Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. Sometimes I love Getter. Sometimes I hate his stuff. This EP just felt like everything that I hate about Getter into a single EP. And so this, again, this just isn't my preference at all. I find nothing about this really sonically pleasing at all. Number nine is Ghastly's The OG EP. This is another similar style to Getter's. And you'll notice some kind of similar themes happening here with my least favorite projects, my worst projects of the year. And uh, this, <laughs> the kind of really abrasive dubstep style, I have not really found a huge enjoyment for. There's a few, very few artists that have done it really, really well. I think like Riot's Dogma Resistance was a great example of stuff, that abrasive dubstep style that I actually enjoyed. This is the opposite, the stuff I hate. The back two tracks, the last two tracks of this EP are some of the most ear piercing, just like, uh, just like, I want to just like, yeah, songs I have ever heard. And so I will not be revisiting this project anytime soon. At number eight is Leo Trix's Out of Order EP. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, man. I He puts out so much a year and I feel like I need to really talk about all those projects every time. And so this one I think is actually his worst project to date, his worst EP to date. Um, the lyrics just felt really weak and the synths were just frustrating to listen to. It was it was just an odd mix of everything that I just didn't like, all the stuff I didn't like about Leo Tricks in one kind of EP. So sorry, not the hugest fan of this. Um, and the lyrics, I still think his lyrical, or what he's doing with his lyrics are pretty dumb sometimes. And I think this is just a prime example of that. So sorry, Leo Tricks, but you make the list this year. At number seven, my most shocking addition to this list is Vancouver Sleep Clinic from a Distant Dream EP. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Vancouver Sleep Clinic is a very like ambient style producer. It's really not EDM at all. It's more uh, ambient, atmospheric. It's just very different from the last three projects we just talked about. Uh, I love Vancouver Sleep Clinic. I really, really do. I love all the stuff he puts out. But this, this is, it's like three songs in six minutes. It is just, I don't know why the thing exists. The songs sound nice. They sound pleasing, but I don't understand why this is an EP or any semblance of a project, anything that's put together. It doesn't make sense that it exists. I don't think the songs are really bad. This is more of a structure reason of why I don't like this project. And so uh, that's number seven. Number six is the Dirty Audio Take Control EP. Wow. Again, another three track EP, but this is some of the most drowned out ear piercing trap I've heard in a long time. Uh, Dirty Audio, thankfully, doesn't make it super commercial trap. It's not the kind of cliche trap you'd listen to. It's a little bit more niche in that sense. But, oh my gosh, some of the sounds are awful. Like this uh, track on, or the sound on, I think it's the second track. Um, it sounds like a dog dying. Like, it sounds like someone hitting a dog for the synth. It's like, burp, burp, burp. it's like, it's just the worst. I, I, I don't understand why someone put that in and was like, this this is music. At number five, and our first album of the list actually is Dubs's Sleep LP. Uh, this is some of the most bland, uninspired music I have heard in EDM this year, just period. I mean, it's number five on this list. Uh, it is just, I don't know why it even exists. The top half of the EP or the album is so commercial focused and it wants to be really popular with the features on it. And it's just, it's just kind of boring radio music. And the bottom half is just EDM that is just, it's just, there's nothing happening. There's no real uh, enjoyment or nice hooks or nice melodies on any of the tracks. They're just kind of boring instrumental versions of tracks that just don't need to exist. And with that being said, even because they're more EDM focused, the back half of the tracks, um, 
it just doesn't sound great. Like if you're going to go EDM, like go really hard. If you're going to make pop, do your pop EDM stuff, do your dance pop, do whatever. But when you're going to go actual EDM and make some stuff to dance to, make it actually good. Go hard on those tracks. But no, this was just uh, such a bad effort for an album, I think. And I have to mention, why, why have an interlude in an album with no thematics and no storyline? Why does there, why does there need to be an interlude? Why just don't stop. At number four is Alan Walker's Walker Racing League EP. Oh my gosh, this thing is in a sorry excuse for an EP. It is just derivative, uninspired slap house, and it's really just made for streaming success. It's made to be on the radio. It's made to get streamed. It's made to get plays. It's just, I don't know why this thing exists other than money, money, money. There's nothing that's really interesting about this. I would say the vocal performances are pretty good though. The, the features that come in aren't really half-assed in it. They are given their best um, well, sometimes, but uh, the whole thing is just like, uh, it's just so boring. And that's the biggest issue with a lot of my, a lot of stuff on this list is that it's just boring, uninspired, derivative. There's really no, there's no life to any of these tracks. And this EP is a great example of that. Number three in the top three is Odd Prophet's Oracle EP. I talked a little bit about how I don't like the abrasive dubstep style and especially rhythm. And this is abrasive rhythm with a kind of Euro twist to it. Uh, the whole EP is like muddy, dirty, like disgusting and in a bad way. It's got that grit to it that isn't actually good. It almost goes a step too far where it's like, oh no, like this is really gritty and really heavy, really dirty, but like it's just like washed out dirt. It's not like refined dirt, if that makes sense. Um, it just did not work for me at all. Uh, I'm I'm still trying to get into this more heavy dubstep rhythm style, but I just, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I give it a shot all the time. And this is one of the reasons why I just really dislike the genre or the style of music uh, is pretty much this. So this was my first actual listen to of anything Odd Prophet, and I did not enjoy it. So I'm sorry about that. Number two is the Tones and I Welcome to the Madhouse album. Wow. Um, who approved this? This was so bad. Um, when I first heard Dance Monkey uh, a couple, I think two years ago at university, I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated the vocals. I hated the production. I thought it was awful. It was annoying. It wasn't even like, uh, oh, I'm just, it's a repetitive song. It, like I genuinely, genuinely hated it. It's probably my least favorite song of all time is Dance Monkey. And so I was relieved to know that Dance Monkey wasn't on this album. It is on the deluxe, but it wasn't on this. Uh, but oh my gosh, it is a little, it's more of the same. There's no track that I think it's indiv individually as bad as Dance Monkey is, but there's some stuff that kind of gets there. Um, man, that last diss track, trap, uh, track was, I just, yeah, there's so much wrong with it. The thematics, the storytelling, there's just, it tries to do so many different things in different directions. It's like, oh, you're lonely and I'm lonely too. And let's be lonely together type stuff. But like, don't feel bad. And then the next one's like, I have all this money for a private jet and like F you, like you uh, doubted me. And it's like, what, what is this? The, the, the lyrics are just like so tone deaf and her vocals are so annoying, and some of the production on these tracks is so bad. It's so annoying, it's so basic, it just sounds like Insta, like, it sounds like a garage band style track sometime with basic plugins. It was, uh, it was, it was bad. And number one, the worst project of the year is Marshmello's Shockwave album. Uh, <laughs> Um, so I went into this with, uh, with, I wouldn't say with bad expectations, but I went in with like level head and I was like, okay, I used to like what Marshmallow did. I actually really liked Alone. I liked his kind of early tracks, like, I don't know, like Silence and Happier. Like I enjoyed those kind of single tracks. And I was like, maybe we'll get some of that. Um, but no, it was, it was not. Um, this album did everything wrong. It tried to have those commercial poppy tracks, but like the worst of those commercial pop tracks, like dance pop. And then also made EDM style tracks. Like this is what I hounded dubs for doing earlier. It it went hard EDM, but like the worst songs you could possibly make in that genre. It's just like, oh, what is happening? Um, none of this was uh was was enjoyable at all. I um I wrote in my review online about this that uh I, I think it's it sounded like a parody album. It sounded like a parody of itself. I was genuinely laughing out loud when I heard some of these tracks or heard some of these melodies, heard some of these drops. I was I was shocked on how like almost funny it was. It was like ironically funny. It was I like I was <laughs> I was genuinely cracking up with some of the stuff because I was like, this can't be real. This can't be real. Like, what is it? In the second song, he has a sample of someone saying, Marshmallow's so bad. I can't believe he's popular. Like his music sucks. 
And it's like, oh, okay. So he's like clearly aware that people don't like his stuff. But then the drop to that song was horrible. And the rest of the songs after that were so bad. It's like, you, you're you aware. Okay, you're aware. So so let's let's change up the style then or do something different. But he's like, no, he's playing it off as a joke as if he's actually not that bad. But then he goes to make an album. That is his, the worst thing he's ever done. It's like, what? It's You're trying to be meta, but it didn't work at all. And it just, it made it even worse. And I was like, ah. Oh. So it was, um, yeah, Marshmallow was a big, big thumbs down for me. It was my my worst project of the year by far. And with that, that is my list, my top 10 worst albums and EPs of the year. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, is there anything here? I'd love to know, is there anything here that you guys actually really enjoyed? I don't know, maybe the Alan Walker stuff stuck with you a little bit more, or maybe even Odd Profit was, that is the genre you really enjoy and really like to listen to, but I'd love to know in the comment section below. But, uh, you know, I've been Bowtie Media. I will see you guys in the next couple few days. Tomorrow is the songs of the year, then EPs, then albums of the year. So uh, we are in the middle of the 2021 interview. So go check out those videos if you have not already. I've been Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.